ladies, right, this is a video response to um, JP Peggy 2. She's got a 2 on the end. Did I write it down? Uh, no, I didn't. JP Peggy. And she's doing a 3 plus 1 challenge. Is it 3 plus 1? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, basically, you get so many entries into a giveaway. Um, if you say what your three favourite tools are, your three favourite tools. Are, sorry, I'm trying to think what it, what it is because I really I should write things down. You've got to show what your three favourite tools for crafting are, and give one tip. And I think you get one entry if you just leave your answer as a comment and I think you get two entries if you do it as a video response so well I'm not shy me so I'll do it as a video response <laughs> so if you're not subbing to um, JP Peggy go on over and give her a sub um, I'm quite a new subscriber I found her through Robin um, that's TN girl um, and Robin's absolutely lovely I've been subbing to her since I found her just before Christmas and she was making um, fabulous Christmas decorations like candy and then through her I've also recently subbed to Beth's scrapbooking corner and another lady is it scrap lady 50 don't know but she's fab she like goes dumps to diving I'd so do that me honestly but they lock out bins in England you know we don't call them dumpsters we call them skips don't we our big bins and they lock them so we can't do none of that, I should get some more stuff. So anyway, those ladies all seem to be in the same sort of circle and that's how I've seen this challenge. Um, so I thought I'd join in. So if you're not a sub -er to JP Peggy, go over and give her a sub. And I think one of the prizes is coming from Beth's scrapbook room. And she's just an absolute hoop. So go and find her and sub her as well. I'm rubbish at links, but she's not hard to find. Um, she makes me look shy. <laughs> right, on to, me t on to my tools. My three favourite, favourite, favourite tools um, for crafting. Right, my first favourite tool is my heat gun. I've got a very cheap, basic one that probably blows half of the embossing powder off, but I don't care, I love it. Um, I just love, 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 love embossing things with embossing powder and just watching it you know as it turns I don't know I just think it's it I just think it's a bit magical <laughs> I'm easily impressed me um so that's why I love it and obviously I well to dry stuff because then you don't have to wait forever um so yeah I love it one of the best things about um and it was only like nine pound or something it's just a do crafts I think it is cheap one um but it just job fine not complaining. Um, it's not overly noisy, but I don't do. I've not done tutorials yet using it, so I don't. Don't know. So that's my first favourite tool. Um, my second favourite tool is probably this. It's not really a tool. It's a glue, and it's a fabric glue. And this is what I use to construct my fabric books, and I use this as much as I can. I use my sewing machine to sew the covers together and then I'll use this as much as I can um, when I'm making a fabric book or a stick pin book. Obviously I use my glue gun as well um, just because it's quicker but this dries quite quickly, it's quite good and it'll stick any, it, I've stuck laces, uh, all sorts of stuff. It, it's really good and it's really cheap, you get it from range. This is a bigger size. I got the small one first of all to try and the small one's only 99p and I think that was like 150 or something. So it's not expensive and it is good. I do like it. And then my third fabric, fabric, I've got fabric on brain now. Favourite thing is my box cutter. 79 pence. Love it. Trim everything a bit. I open boxes with it. I cut chipboard with it. I cut polystyrene with it when I'm doing stick pin holding things with polystyrene. Just cut everything with it. It's ace. I love it. And um, I have bought other things in the past. Like I really felt like I needed one of these when I started watching YouTube. Don't know why because they're absolute 
rubbish. You cut in and that bit's bender. And it's really, really hard to like use. I can't. And then blooming blade falls off halfway through cutting it. Pants. Don't ever buy one. And then I really felt at one time that I needed one of these, which is a rotary cutter. And now this is one of the dearest tools that I own. This was actually 25 quid or something. I didn't pay for it, my husband did. He got it me as a treat because I'd persuaded him that I just really needed one <laughs> to cut fabric with. And it is the biggest waste of money ever. It's really difficult to control. I mean, it's good because you press that button and the blade stays out and then, so it's got safety catches on it. But it's really, I don't know, it's just really difficult to control. So I've probably used it twice. And then I just look at it and I think there's £25 there. I could buy all sorts for £25. But you live and learn, don't you? We all do it. And then my tip. Um, I did see Teresa car. Where's mine? Uh, yeah, I have them as well. But I have um, as the smart price because they're like 20p. <laughs> you always have bikes. But I always like to... Um, get these as well and I will borrow these <laughs> and I use the term borrow in the broadest sense in a scrimpy sense they're there so I take them and that's these your coffee stirrers I get them normally from McDonald's maybe they have them at Costa and Starbucks or wherever you go don't know but I nick them from I borrow them don't nick them never stole out in my life <laughs> I borrow these from McDonald's. Um, I don't even drink their coffee, it's awful, but I borrow some of these when I need them. And what I like to use these for is for my fabric glue, because nine times out of ten, doesn't matter what kind you buy, the nozzles are pants. Okay, they clog up, you can stick a pin in them all you like, they still clog up, they're rubbish, right? Don't matter how little or how much you spend, Anything with one of those sorts of nozzles that's all to do with glue, clogs. End of story. So what I do is I just I just simply take it off and I use these to dab it and then put it on the on on the lace because they're nice and smooth. There's no bristles that are gonna fall off because sometimes with paintbrushes, especially with me because I'm tight and I buy cheap ones, you end up with like black hairs on your lace. It's not a nice look. So these are really good for spreading. I mean, you could use them for other things and all you could, I don't know, you could like <laughs> borrow a few over quite a long period and like make a caravan out of them, I don't know. But yeah, they're free. Well, kind of. Well, they're there, aren't they? And you know, they're there to be used, so use them. Um, so there you go. That is my tip when you're going and... Uh, Getting your coffee from McDonald's or wherever. Just take a couple of extra. They're not going to miss them. And um, there you go. And my other tip as well um, is samples. Wallpaper samples. Get yourself to B&Q. Get yourself to Next. Wherever the really, really nice wallpaper is. You know the really dear stuff. Go get yourself a sample. Use it for your crafting. Um, I've got some lovely stuff in the past. Really, really lovely wallpaper. Um, in fact... Have I got one to hand? I think I might have one to hand. Let me just show you this one I got. And this is this is from Next and it's like £25 a roll. And it's like gold and it's got peacocks on. It's lovely. Really, really lovely. So I just got myself a small sample. <laughs> As you do. Um, but yeah. Always look around when you're in coffee shops or DIY shops or whatever and see what's going because if you can use some it that's not cost you anything, oh, the more. So those are, that's my tip. Um, so yeah, go along and um, join in JP Peggy's um, challenge. It's free to enter. It's open to internationals um, and she's got some lovely prizes. And um, she's really, really nice. And goes up to bed as well. And the dumpster diving lady. <laughs> Scrap lady 50, is it? I'm terrible at remembering people's usernames. I'm terrible. Um, so, yeah.
go and check them out. They're great fun and lovely to watch. Right, ladies, that's it for today. I'm not coming on again. Um, so I need to do some work. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching and take care.